I'm Dr. Suachla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. What are the five factors that indicate that you should directly go for IVF? I'm talking about male factors. I'm talking about uh, factors that are reflected in a common semen analysis. Of course, any abnormal semen analysis report should be repeated and no single semen analysis report should be taken as a conclusion. So what are these five factors? Let you know that you are a direct candidate for IVF and your success rate is always better if you go for direct IVF. The first is morphology. The morphology of a sperm is a very important factor when it comes to fertilization. Remember the sperms could have uh, vacuoles, could have holes, could have two heads, uh, abnormal shapes. These kind of sperms fail to fertilize eggs that ovulate. So even when you've been trying for years naturally, this could be the factor you're not getting pregnant. So if the morphology is poor, you should go for direct IVF. As in, in 100 sperms, not one single one is normal. So this is a very important factor. The report is poor in good morphology sperms or it is zero, directly go for IVF. The second is azoospermia. Azoospermia is a factor when there are no sperms reported in a semen analysis report. Uh, the good news is that azoospermia can also still give us sperms by doing a TISA, testicular aspiration of sperms. When sperms are uh, removed from the testes, by a very uh, simple procedure using a simple needle, sperms can be extracted. These sperms are low in numbers, low in motility, low in maturity, but they are good for fertilization through IVF. So if you are, have been reported as having azoospermia in your semenalysis report, get a TISA done, testicular aspiration of sperms done and these sperms can be used for IVF. Remember, these sperms cannot be used for IUI, intrauterine insemination. They come with a lot more cells, they come with RBCs and when injected into the uterus, it could cause severe infections especially it could result in failure also because these sperms do not have good enough motility to swim towards the egg. So second is azoospermia. The third is oligozoospermia as in if the numbers are very poor, low, then you should directly go for uh, IVF. The cutoff is very strange because if even if it is 10 million below uh, the WHO standards, the motility is good, you are a good candidate for IUI. But remember, if the count is less than or equal to 1 million, you should go for IVF directly and not waste your time. The next is asthenozoospermia, as in the motility is very low. For natural or for IUI pregnancies, the onus is on the motility of the sperms. They have to swim till the egg to fertilize it. So natural and IUI procedures do not work when motility is low. The best procedure is IVF, especially when the motility is zero. We have solutions which bring about motility in the sperms, which help in fertilization and therefore increase your chance of success. The last but very important one is high DNA fragmentation. If sperms have a DNA which are fragmented, remember, sperm heads have DNA packaged inside them. They are packaged in a highly super specialized way. If there are any breakages, if there are any disruptions in this packaging, then the DNA is disrupted and this kind of a sperm when it is an egg can lead to improper fertilization or poor sperm morphology. Therefore, sperm DNA fragmentation is also very important. If it's very high, go for IVF directly because good sperms can be selected through various procedures in IVF which can result in good quality embryo and your success rate may increase. So these are the five factors which give you an indication that a better option for you would be IVF. If you want to understand more about this, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.